is the so looking at number five it's a lima song because of how the formula looks cosine means it's left and right negative means it's pointing to the left three plus one is four three minus one is two and then how about the sideways pieces how far up and down will I go three <coughs> Again, make it circular. Don't just play connect the dots and make a kite, you know. The key has that one. Something like that. And that one's wrong on the key. Ah. So key issues. This is the key now. Um let's still into number six as well. Um, so sine is up and down. Well, back up. Lima son, because of how the equation looks. Sine is up and down. Uh, loop or no loop? No. no loop. So I know already it's going to look like something like that. Pointing up because the sine is positive. How far out will I go? Well, what's the far? How far is the farthest point going to be? Let me ask it that way. Six. Four plus two is the farthest point. Okay, how about opposite 4 plus 2? Four, 4 minus 2. So that'll be on the other side. We'll go 2. And then how far out on the sides of the of this thing? 4. four. Again, not a kite, but... Uh, Correct. Okay. So if the two is bigger than the four. Like number seven? Yeah. Two is never bigger than four. <laughs> two is never well, bigger than four. The but yes, if the the first number is the circle number, the second number is the loopy number. So if it's if the circle number is bigger, it's more like a circle. If the loopy's number bigger, it's it has a loop in it. So number seven's gonna have a loop. The indent of mm -hmm have a loop on the inside. So inside loop, positive cosine. So this one's going to look something like that. But the farthest and opposite points are still kind of the same. The farthest out is 2 plus 4 is 6. Opposite 2 plus 4 is 2 minus 4. But that puts us at negative 2 is one way to think of it. That's what makes the loop because it's it's inside the, the, the lima song. And then how far up and down do we go? 2. Yeah, this, well, it's not always up and down. It's the sideways points, I guess. Uh, and these things also all go through the origin. So try to make a... Take some practice to draw those. That's probably my best one of the year. It's a little shaky up there because yeah. I was going slow to try to make it good. But so lima songs, loops and no loops, and then the special case, if the two numbers are e two numbers are equal, then it's a cardioid and it goes right back to the pole. Right. Pardon? I think like number nine. Number nine is a special case Limasson. The two numbers are equal, and so it doesn't have a loop, but it goes, it almost has a loop, right? Because their two numbers are equal. Yeah. So that's a special case of a Lima. Is a one way to think of it. Okay. So special. Where there is no loop, it's just a little like. One minus one is zero, so it goes to back to the pole. Oh. It's just a lima song with a special name. Just like a rose that only has one petal has a special name, it's a circle. A lima song with one with A and B equal to each other, what we call a cardioid. Okay. 
it would, it would almost be easier if we didn't have the special case names. We would just say we have roses and we have limassons. And leave it at that. And if you want to think of it that way, you can. Like There's only two shapes you got to know, roses and limassons. Anything on the back? It's going backwards. Let's do a couple of them. Oh, yeah, that would be review stuff, because 30, that's a rose. How many petals does that rose have? Four. So what does that mean in was? Two. So R equals something to zeta. Is it a cosine rose or a sine rose? How do you know it was cosine? Because it's on the axis, it's on the x-axis especially. So cosine 2 theta. Because it's on the x-axis. And then what's the coefficient out front? Like how far out do we go? Yeah. So 5 cosine 2 theta. And how did you get to 2? Because if there's four petals, n would have had to have been 2. Yeah, how? Because if n is even, then there are two n petals. If n is odd, then rows, three petals. So there will only, n will always be 1 and 2? Because even or odd? No, because if n is 3, then we have three petals. If n is odd, you have n petals. Okay, so odd is n petals, and then even is just two? Two n. Two n, okay. So if n is two, then there are four petals. Five. Okay. Thank you. Uh, R equals cosine 3 theta. And let's see, how far out did this thing go? Three. Three cosine three theta. Okay, that's that's the old stuff though. Do we need to do any of the top twelve problems? Because there's cardioids, there's lemasons with loops, without lo loops, backwards, forwards, upside down. Inside, outside, upside, downside. Dr. Seuss teaches Limassons. 24. Okay. Um, let's see. Limasson. No loop. Is that going to be a cosine or a sine one? Cosine, because that's a left right orientation. And a positive cosine, because it's pointed to the right. Probably the sideways points are the easiest to pick off one of the numbers for. So the sideways points are 4. What does that mean for my equation? Is that the first number or the second number? The first number. And then I have to figure out, well... If this number is 6, well, I need 4 plus something to give me 6. Whoops. <laughs> you said 2, and I wrote 6. 2, not 6. Because I need them to add to 6. So I need a 2 there. And then if I check the other side of things, 4 minus 2 gives me two to make sure that this thing is working. So four plus two cosine theta. And then again, you can check at the end. Four plus two is six, or minus two is two. The two sideways points are four.
And that is why we practice these equations, because there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, every equation must start with r equals. Um, you're going to lose a point if you don't start with r equals. If you just put 4 plus 2 cosine theta, great job, but that's not an equation. You have to have r equals on there.